I'm back working on my COVID-19 paintings or coronavirus or COVID-19. For some reason I say COVID and I probably always will. This is going into COVID-19 or this is going into coronavirus and lockdown. It's getting quite black. In fact, I want to, um, you know, possibly make it a little blacker still. There's never enough dark where I'm concerned for being locked up and having my liberty deprived. Um, so I've been making this gradually darker and darker and darker and adding bits of detail. In the meantime, while Wales is still in lockdown, England is gradually coming out of it. England is only just a little bit down the road, not that far. Um, if I was a cyclist, I could cycle there. Um, in fact, I go shopping in England. Um, but unfortunately, I don't live, live in England, so I'm still in lockdown. Um, this is being in lockdown because really, we are contained. So outside is all the sky and the sun and the blue, and inside, we are just in our little bubbles, and we are being told, or we have been told, to stay there. So in Wales, they'd still like us to stay there. Red, by the way, in my paintings means usually pain. And I have to say that, you know, there are very painful aspects to lockdown. And I defy anybody to say that it's been a real picnic and they've enjoyed every minute also <laughs> actually having said that. Some people have. Some people are having a genuine holiday. All 10 weeks of it. 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks of it in some cases. But not for me. Um, I can't wait, wait to get back to a bit of normality, but I don't think it'll ever become again. Um, so this is just going to be very much more claustrophobic, this painting. This painting is all about what we have at home. And I pity anybody who's 15 floors up with three screaming children under the age of 10. You have my sympathy. Um, I only have screaming animals, and um, but I have a garden, that's a secret. So this will become more and more contained, and I shall add detail because our little prisons have been full of our details and our little stories, and lots of us have been putting them on the internet, and I suppose this is my effort to put my little story on the internet for what it's worth. This painting over here is what I anticipate coming out of lockdown to be. Green, except actually where the Welsh are concerned, we won't be getting a lot of that, so you know, it might just put a bit of a cross on the green. <laughs> don't, don't go out yet. Um, but I anticipate some freedoms, but there aren't going to be many. So there's still an awful lot of black, and it's coming in, it's moving that way. With, with paintings that describe how I feel about something, I always feel that they move from left to right, so they're a bit like a storyboard. So this is my moving from left to right. And I like working on all three of them at once because um, I, they, they hang together. And they're, they're, for me, they're a storyboard. They make sense that way. Of course, I'm standing in front of the camera. You can't see what I'm doing on this one. Um, I shall do more of that when you're not looking. Or when I'm standing in a different place and my um, palette of paints has moved. Um, here, my crossed out friends, orange being friends, and here are my friends being crossed out very blackly. And um, we're moving forwards into rules and restrictions. Of course, in England, you're now moving out of rules and restrictions. But um, those of us in Wales, well, shall I just say me? I can't speak for anybody else, but I can speak for me. I'm jealous. <laughs> when, when Boris said you could actually go out and um, have as much exercise as you want, and you don't actually have to go home after, after an hour, I was really jealous. We still have to. Or we're supposed to. Although we can apparently have Two exercises a day. Whoopee! My dogs get two walks a day, come what may. My dogs don't understand anything else. 
and they're huskies, so they need two walks a day. And, um, so this is blackening up nicely. In fact, you know, we could you know, make it even more so. And a bit of brown in there and some grey. Got to have lots of grey. Grey for me means tired and fed up. And, um, and I felt a lot of that. So, having said that, putting it on canvas makes me feel happy. So I should be, you know, smiling, shouldn't I? Well, I am smiling. And I'm talking to the camera and I have no idea who I'm really talking to, which is sort of unnerving. Any funny noises are dogs coming and going. And if the alarm goes off, it means I'm due for a phone call. Not even a Zoom call. I've had one Zoom call. We ended up on the telephone because my fiber optic broadband, for which I'm paying more, doesn't work. Not very well anyway. Um, my friends froze and we ended up speaking on the good old telephone. Not even a mobile at the telephone. So uh, never get rid of your landline. They're too valuable, I think, anyway. But what do I know? I just think options. And there's light and shade in everything, so even in the black bits, there is a, a little bit of colour. There's one thing, though, I do feel that actually I have understated um, my friends a bit because orange being friends you know i was having a very good time with friends before this happened i pity people with weddings and um, celebrations all being cancelled left right and center i had to cancel my 60th birthday parties and dinners and everything so i'm not 60. i'm going to stay forever 59. friend said, but it's not really cancelled, it's just postponed. No, it's kind of cancelled. I don't think I have to admit that. So, the interesting thing is, this strip here is sort of an extension into friends out of sight. Unfortunately, they're going to stay out of sight for rather a lot longer. You see, here's Here's the hope of friends. Friends on telephones being squashed by what's going on, being severed and separated by what's going on. And, um, you know, glimmers of hope being crushed. Oh, for a vaccine. Anyway. It's sort of getting there. It's got a, it's got a way to go, but I got a bit distracted by doing some work on these. <laughs> so... Friends on the phone only can go out in our own garden. But in Wales, we are not allowed to have a friend round, even if they're sitting 20 paces away from us. And um, Scotland, apparently, Nicola Sturgeon has allowed that. I'm impressed. It's a logical, sensible thing. To be able to go and sit in a friend's garden, have a glass of wine at a social distance, good company, you know, nice surroundings, and nobody's hurting anybody. If you take your own glass, you're not actually touching anything. And apparently, it's 15 minutes on a dull day and 6.9 minutes on a sunny day that the um, virus dies in sunlight. So if somebody touched a park bench, you know, you're all right after 15 minutes on a bad day. Apparently. Don't quote me. Unless I sense something really superb, never quote me. Now, in lockdown, in the little hermetically sealed bubble, there were joys. I mean, for me, I had my animals. I had um, my lockdown ducklings, five little mallard ducks that my friend gave me at a day old. Well, four ducks and one egg. I hatched the egg. And they are now got heart, they're now half grown. They've got proper little wings. They can't quite fly yet, but if you look on Instagram, there are lots of little ducky development photos. <laughs> so go enjoy. Um, that needs more black. 
because really, the, and the think of the blue as being everything outside our windows. The blue is what we couldn't get at. Well, you know, a lot of people didn't get at at all. And I never understood the sense of locking parks. You know, tell everybody they can only have an hour's exercise a day and then throw them all onto the streets and lock all the parks. That seemed like a particular form of cruelty. For those of us in the country, we're very lucky. At least we have the country roads, which have been strangely devoid of traffic. There's a dog chewing a bone down here. It's not me, I promise. <laughs> right. Well. I sort of feel we all had to step into our homemade little jails. So whatever our homes were, at the point where we were told you can't come out again, that's what we were shut up with. Uh, it looks a bit like the inside of somebody's intestine. And actually, that's probably what it felt like for a lot of people, being shut up in your own intestines. You're not allowed out. <laughs> Don't go out, you might die. Uh, worst, of all, worst of all, you might, not only, you might die, you might kill, take somebody with you and kill somebody else. But... Um, There's a lot more work to do on that. And you see the black is bleeding into this and there'll be more red in this, but the thing is, there is hope and there is green and there is, you know, the anticipation of possibly seeing friends again. I've got to be honest, I am missing my friends. So all my friends out there, you know, I miss you. <laughs> if I haven't phoned you, it's because I've really got nothing to talk about except coronavirus and it's so boring. So I'm going to thank you all for watching this little bit. And this is how far I've got so far. I'm still working on it. And um, I'll finish by the time they let us go, hopefully, which will be about when the ducks fly. So if you look on Instagram, then uh, there'll be lots of ducky photos. There's photos of owls as well. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.